Tapi kau macam tu kan? Oh wow! Oh, walau walau kusi. Yes. Oh Lord, help! <laughs> We're gonna need all the strength we can muster this evening from him because when the happy, happy, plebs, when the happy, happy, plebs is open. Now, as always, we aim to bring a smile to your face, or even a tear to your eyes. Yeah, and we do it all in the name of our Father, don't we? We do. You know, <laughs> and do you know what we do it, Steve? What? We're going on a joy journey. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Fasten your seatbelts. <laughs> oh, coming in hot. <laughs> Who's coming on the show today? So we've got our good friend. Her name is Jess. Lovely. And um, yeah, she's not just a friend. She's going to be a regular now, isn't she, on oh, our show, I regular. think. A regular. A regular. A regular. A reg. In the pub. <laughs> In the pub. Obviously, yeah. we're going to play some games, because yes. why not? Why not? And what should we finish it off with today? I think we should finish it off with something funny. Ah, I got a perfect poem for you, and somebody very near to me has actually written it. So stay to the end, because you've got to see it, right? <laughs> <laughs> but before you go anywhere, I think we need to look at our shelf of wonders. Oh, yes. Shelf of wonders. And the person who's going to help us today with the shelf of wonders is our very own camera assistant man, <laughs> Jack. Jack. Hey, come on in. Oh, Jack. Now, yes. Hi. Shelf of wonders. What have yes. we got? What have I got? Yeah. I've what got two bring? things, but I'll just bring out the one. Just the one. Just the one. <laughs> just the one. We haven't got enough time for that, <laughs> you know? Well, they're both related. So this is what I brought for the shelf of wonders. It's so you asked me to bring in something that's personal to myself. What is that? Yeah, they are items of representation to go on the set for a while. And I brought in uh, Matt Smith's Doctor Who. Yeah, I was going to say that's what it was. Who's Matt Smith and who's Doctor Who? He's Matt Smith. Oh, he plays the character of Doctor Doc Who. The Doctor. Oh. Doctor and Doctor okay, Who. Okay, and why? Um, <laughs> I've liked Doctor Who for a very long time. Have yeah. you? I have. You're yeah. one of them, isn't it? My, my tattoos are kind of dedicated to Doctor Who. Oh, yeah. one of them. Yeah, it's one of them. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's the first thing I thought of to bring on the shelf. Oh, oh and um, what's that got to do with God? Well, <laughs> I guess better not you, be an idol. Uh, what, what you could say not this one is, like Jesus, the Doctor is in the past, the future, and he's always in the past. Oh, the time travelling Jesus! Like he's this is the time travelling Jesus. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Put him back. Put him back. Put him back. Shelf, I tell you what, we don't, we don't know, do we? But that's a little. Um, <laughs> Can Shelf I, of Wonders. Can you can go. Can off I, go? Can go. Can go. I don't know if that was worth it, but there we are. Thanks, Jack. <laughs> Hang on, we need to have five minutes before well, we... Uh... Jack has his little friends. I've got my little friends, folks. These are my little friends. Uh... Have they got names or...? Um, this is Happy and this is Clappy. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need... I think we need to just take a pause there. A bit of a breather before we welcome on our guests. Go on, then. Take a breath. Take a breath. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Faith, can you uh, and your little friends do me a favour and stand up, please? Oh, why? Okay, on your feet, lose your seat behind the bar. <laughs> and this is a good point <laughs> to welcome on our guest this evening. Oh, she got green thumbs. She and has. don't she love it? Yeah, she's a prop, but well, she's like a farmer now. <laughs> farmer. Let's give it up for our friend Jess Regnard. Woo! <laughs> Lord, in Jesus' name, protect me, Lord. Lord just pray for stability right now. Okay. Oh, Amen. Uh, right, I think first, before we get started, would you like a drink, Jess? I'd love a drink. Thank um, you. Me as well. Anything? Water? <laughs> so, yeah, why not? Put some bubbles in it. Let's push the boat out. Go on, Doris. Come on, then. Wow! <laughs> oh, man. I know. Oh. This is so <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Leave it there. Leave it there. Oh, uh, how did you know? Uh, <laughs> I'll be care. I'm very I think, um, So, yes. Oh, Thanks. very exotic. I will put this in my hair though, because it's so wet. <laughs> Should we put it in my hair? We just. Uh, Come on, up, folks, isn't it? Yes, Let's have go on. Let's have a I'm party. still waiting for my drink to be there. <laughs> Yeah, me too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, well. <laughs> to your stations, please. Just draw. Just, just leave. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. What's he got? <laughs> what's he got? <laughs> please, will you sponsor me? 
name how much. Sponsor me to last 10 minutes on a trampoline. He wants to raise, how many zeros is that? That's 10, that's <laughs> For his own? For my own pantry. Charity. Oh, charity. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. We. Um, no. Can we, oh, okay. Off you go. Okay. <laughs> can we come back to that? What am I meant to do with these? <laughs> Put them in your head, Put right? in, listen. It's party time this evening. We're having a drink, we're in a bar. <laughs> and do you know what? I've got to be honest, this is quite um, a momentous occasion because yeah. you asked for water with bubbles in and that's what you had. Usually, people don't get that on this show. They have whatever we've got. Is that because yes, they ask for like, exotic things, though? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's exotic. We can't be doing that. Well, I've got coconut water and it tastes foul. Does it? <laughs> that's have you not had it before? No, I've had it, but this one I yeah. have not had. But it's not the nicest, I say. Mm. But anyway, chin, before chin. Oh, yes, we're going to do a chin chin. chin, chin, chin. I'm not going to taste that. That's hanging. Anyway, what's well, nice? Yeah, lovely, okay. refreshing. It's okay, I can go with that. Interesting. So what are we doing, Katie? Right, we're going to play a game. Okay. Oh right. I know. We're in a bar. <laughs> we're in a bar. Bar games, brilliant. right? Uh, but we're Christian, so it's got a Christian theme. <laughs> so um, this is going to be quick fire. Okay. I feel really low down here. You're it's probably, just, am yeah. I like, you know? No, you're fine. Oh, you're really <laughs> tall. So um, there'll be a topic and we're each going to go around and think of the first thing that we can think of to do with that topic. Right. And if you've got more than a few seconds gap, then we move on. Okay. And you're a failure and, you know, you need right. to repent. Okay. And you need to, you know. Is this a word association game? No, it's category. So the first one is Books of the New Testament. Oh, okay. okay, sure. Um, I may as well start off. No, no, no. Acts. John. Revelation. Oh. Matthew. James. Jude. Eph Ephesians. Timothy. Uh, question mark. <laughs> Corinthians. Oh, two Corinthians. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, uh, one John. Oh. Oh. oh, this is well done. Thess Thessalonians, I can't say. Ephesians. I said Ephesians. Ephesians. Uh, oh, you lose. Oh, I'm wounded. Uh, right. And I've lost my umbrella. Oh, now this one, I, honestly, we'd probably get about three. Um, you can start off. Okay. So, what names is it? of Jacob's sons. Oh, forget it. Just sing the song. Just sing the song. Reuben. Simeon. Right, who was the one who got imprisoned? Joseph. Benjamin. Levi. Pass. <laughs> Nathaniel. Nathaniel. Uh, is no, that he's one? not one, is he? <laughs> Any fact is checkers Nathaniel around you? Uh, moving yeah. on. I'm moving on. No mind for that one. Um. <laughs> right, gospels. Oh, well. Okay, Matthew. Mark. Luke. John. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, just place she it in your place it. it in your lap. Yeah. <laughs> Put it up there. Brother. If this was a normal show, we may cut at that point. But we're not going to. This You're is reality. It. You're <clears throat> going to see it all, folks. Right, miracles of Jesus. Okay, so a uh, woman who was bleeding. Which way are you going? Go on. Healing the blind man. Uh, casting out the demon. What's the one that got lowered into his house? The paralytic. No, right. not paralytic. The paralytic. <laughs> not the paralytic. That's right. I was going to say the Paralympian, but that was not the right person. No. <laughs> uh, another miracle. Is it, is it which way yeah. is it? Carving the storm? Yes. Oh, yes. Um, 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 five loaves, two fish. Um, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. No, fish, money in the fish mouth. <laughs> yeah, legion. You said demons, but I'm saying legion, right? Uh, yeah. Because he did other demony stuff. Yeah, he yeah. did more than one demony thing. He did more than one demony thing. Yeah. Um, um, the, the first miracle, water into wine. <gasps> chin, chin. Yes. Come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to have some of that. We say with our sparkling See if waters. you can guess this miracle. Uh, uh, when he, Lazarus, uh, yeah. getting up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then, she knows her Bible. <laughs> um... Um, on the top of the mountain with Moses, it's transfiguration. Oh, yes. I mean, that's yes, pretty that's big. That's the time that, that travelling was, Jesus that right was, That was pretty cool. It is pretty cool because he's timeless. Jesus walks into a TARDIS. Anyway. <laughs> no TARDIS involved. Okay. written by Moses. Genesis. I've got completely <laughs> blank. <laughs> <Go on>. Exodus. <laughs> Judges isn't, is it? 
No, 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 it's before that. Um, Leviticus. First five Leviticus. Books of the Leviticus, Bible. that was that, Moses? Is that? Yeah. Um, Genesis, Exodus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. Oh, Leviticus, Deuteronomy, yeah. Oh, I will give that to you, thank you. <laughs> First five books were written by Moses. How many of these are there? I know Last that. one. Now I don't know any of these. Go on. Ten plagues. Ten plagues? Yeah. Okay, locusts? Yeah, blood, the water, blood. Come on, it's just me and you. That's the first Moses thing. The place yeah. of Moses. So. Yeah. Oh. Um, the pestilence on the on the livestock. And the, and the there boils, was ten of them. There was ten of those freaks. Send help. <laughs> <laughs> Ten of those. I thought it was just three. Ten plagues. Ten eh? plagues. We don't focus on the plaguey stuff, though, right? Yeah. 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 But How did I not notice? Um, the, the frogs. The frogs. 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 Boils. Yeah, the boils. Did you say about the kids? Death of the firstborn. Oh. Um, wow, this is um, like. Yeah. Hail, hail. Hailstones. Hail. Ha heavenly hail or something. Are we cursed with that every year in Wales. Uh, red <laughs> blood water. Yeah, one, wasn't it? yeah, I think we're repeating ourselves ah. now. I hope you all joined think, in the end form. Of I think we've, we've shown how much we don't know about the Bible. Well and done, guys. This shows anything. It's like, we're not perfect. No, I'm, this isn't a show about theology. Like, well, with Google, everything would be fine, wouldn't it? Yeah. That's it. No, Everyone that's Googles. A tool. It's a good tool. It's a good tool. Google is such a great tool for Christians now. Because you don't have to go to a library to research these things. It's all there. It's all there, in, in your pocket, ready. And if Google says so, it's true. <laughs> well, obviously. Well, obviously. <laughs> we can obviously. Yeah. It's obviously for the truth. You know what I mean. <laughs> but anyway, let's move on and let's get to know Jess. I always say Regnard. It's not Reg, is it? It's no, it's not Reg. Regnard. It's Reg. It's smelt, it's smelt. It's spelt <laughs> Regnard. Yeah. But it's Regnard. <laughs> it's Reg. <laughs> Only in Wales, lady. I know, I know. <laughs> you tell us your name. Yeah. Jess Regnard. Regnard. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> now, you had a pretty big um, kind of life event where you didn't live in Wales. You're not a local. I'm not a local. Where do, where do you come I'm from? I'm an imposter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we moved, well, you, we've lived all over, but we moved most recently from Salisbury. Right, OK. So, and everybody knows where Salisbury is. Yeah. Yeah. Now, why did you come to Wales, of all places? <laughs> oh, my word. Do you want a story? Because we're going to have a story to tell us. Yes. So, just over two years ago, we kind of started getting a stirring in our spirit. And I'll be honest, it wasn't like a holy stirring. Okay. It was that we couldn't afford to survive in Salisbury. We just couldn't yeah. afford to live. It's yeah. so expensive. And we were struggling because I'm on kind of like, like a UK missionary, if you like. Yeah. And we were really, really struggling. Mm. And you start saying, what's God doing, mm. you know, in this? Because God provides, right? He's a yeah. good God and he provides. Yeah. And uh, Chris, my husband, um, was kind of, you know, we really need to buy a house. And we were looking in Salisbury and we couldn't even afford like a one bed flat so for, for a family of four. It was just crazy. Wow. Um, and we also had the added problem that when Chris was really poorly about nine years ago, we ended up going through bankruptcy. Yeah. Because I was doing, believe it or not, my theology degree. Would you believe it after that show? <laughs> we all Google, guys. We all Google. Matters of the heart. Like. Yeah, yeah. Matters. And yeah. it's impossible to buy a house after bankruptcy. Yeah. Right. Um, but he kind of like had this uh, thing, you know, we need, we need to get a house because actually we've got a massive age gap as well. This is really heavy. Sorry. Yeah, no, sorry. Um, <clears throat> but for forward planning and everyone was saying, Jess, you need a house. Just get a house somewhere, anywhere. Just get a house. And then, you, you know, you're planned for. Right. So we kind of started looking around and it was either right up north. Yeah. Or it was South Wales. <laughs> yeah. And because head office is in Reading, South Wales worked yeah. really well because it's oh, straight yeah. you on know, the M4 train or on the M4 straight up to Reading yeah. and I work all over so yeah. I basically you know I'm either in the office or I'm working anywhere in the UK or wherever right um, so as long as I had good transport links and um, it was really interesting because I had a conversation with my then boss and, and, I, and he was saying I really feel God wants you to have a house and I'm like ha, 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 ha. <laughs> yeah we've been bankrupt like that's just not going to happen right and mm. and uh and they were like why don't you just give god a wish list i'm like i don't normally do stuff like that like right. i'm all into surrender face on the floor i don't do <laughs> daddy god this is what i would like yeah yeah, yeah. and so i remember sit going home and that night being really passionate being like right daddy god then <laughs> if you were to buy me a house this is what i would like and yeah. it was so petulant because i was like three double bedrooms going, ha, 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 ha. 10 minutes from the sea, near the mountains, <laughs> near a main line station, <laughs> near a main airport. So I yeah. gave this crazy list, even down to, I want to be able to walk out the back gate into open countryside, oh. but be in a town, because that's yeah. what Chris wanted. Yeah, totally. Um, anyway, so Chris kind of started looking around and I was still in my head thinking, we'll never get a mortgage. And I saw two local mortgage brokers and they, well, I didn't see them, rang them, and they were both yeah. like, not a chance. Right, right. Yeah. Not a chance, you're unmortgeable. Yeah. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. um, then I was speaking at a women's conference 
and praying with a lady afterwards. And she said, oh, I'm a, I'm a mortgage broker. What good's that? And I'm like, <gasps> trying to think, you could be a mortgage broker for people like me who can't get a mortgage. And she was like, yeah. you can't get a mortgage. I was like, don't let the fact I'm standing on a stage fool you. I can't get a mortgage. Yeah, so yeah. She's like, I'll get you a mortgage. Can I just say, that is so revolutionary to say, don't be fooled yeah, by man. me standing up on a stage. <laughs> I can't get a mortgage. Yeah. The utter humility yeah. of that is outstanding. But we're all the same, aren't we? We are. We all have the same struggles. You know, yes. people think, because you're, you're on a stage, a metre higher, that you're got floating a metre. We haven't. Right. No. Don't, don't be fooled. Yeah. We're all, we're all yeah. just journeying together. <laughs> we're all we're a mess. Sitting yeah. in grace and God carries us through. And, you Absolutely. Know. So, um, so anyway, so she, she was messaging. I said, Chris, can you deal with this lady? Yeah. Bless her, because she thinks she can get us a mortgage. <laughs> Bless. <laughs> Bless. Yeah. I don't think she understands Sad, quite yeah. where we're at, you know, yeah. so bless her. Yeah. So Chris came off the and he was like, oh, I, think, I think she might. I think oh, she might. Well. Anyway, fast forward, uh, but she said, wait until the bankruptcy is all cleared through. Yes. Anyway, we didn't do that because I just wanted it. You know, when you're chewing over something, it's kind of exciting, but you, it's like somebody saying, here's some candy, but you can't have it. Have it. Yes. Yeah. So I yeah. said to Chris, I'll tell you what, just choose five houses. Let's go up to Wales and, and kill this. Like yeah, literally, I was like, oh, let's kill it. Just kill it because I can't cope. It's frying my head and mm -hmm. I, I want my head focused on God things, not house things. Right. So we chucked up to Wales and we looked at the first four and they were just wrong. You yeah. know when you, you turn up? You and, know. And it's just like, this is just, isn't it? Yeah. And Chris like, we've got one more. And we turned up to this last house. Now in the morning, I've forgotten this, when I was brushing my teeth, I had this kind of like picture of almost like stained glass in my head. Right. Really random picture. Mm. I was brushing my teeth, half asleep, like mm, stained glass. We turn up to this house and I'm standing and I'm just like, this is it. Chris is like, what? We go in and there's a stained glass door inside. I'm like, yeah. this is it. <laughs> and we like look through it and there's <laughs> doors over the whole of Neath. And I'm thinking, pray for the whole town. You know, this, this is it, this is it. This house was dark. It was dingy. It was falling apart. It was mouldy. It had mushrooms growing <laughs> in the fitting room. We yeah. were no budget guys, oh, yeah. no budget. I'm like, this is it, this is it. Chris is like, this house, no, 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 <laughs> this house, no, no, it's dark. I'm like, imagine it. And I was like, I saw it done. Yeah. I was like, this would be white, this would be pale grey. Open this up, knock this wall down. Chris is like, slow down. I'm <laughs> like, this is it, this is it. So we get in the car and I'm like physically shaking. So I'm like, oh. God's doing something here. And I was like, let's put a cheeky offer in. Yeah. I said, it won't happen. That's, that's our fleece. It won't happen. They would accept it. So we both prayed, got the same figure. So I rang up and I was like, I want to be really rude, put a cheeky offer in. Hadn't even got to Cardiff and they'd accepted it. And she's like, right, I need your mortgage broker, your solicitor. And I'm like, oh, mortgage, no. <laughs> um, oh, it was, it, so I rang my friend, uh, the new friend, the mortgage yeah. broker. And I was like, you're going to be really mad because you said to wait until the end of the year. But we found a house and we feel it's God's house. She was like, what are you doing? You're too soon. <laughs> I was like, I'm really sorry, but if God wants it to come through, I'm sure it'll come through. Absolutely. And God got her out of bed five o'clock in the morning the next day. Like literally, she said, she said, you got him out of bed. And, uh, and she's like, I'm going to go not to a debt specialist, a mainstream mortgage. And I sat on the phone and said, everything in the light, Karen, everything in the light, you tell them everything. You tell them that I'm a UK missionary. You, you, I've got, a, you know, a, a, not necessarily your standard kind of yeah. situation that mm -hmm. Chris is bankrupt. You know, you, you give them the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. Everything in the light. Be honest. Um, so she said, right, let's pray. So we prayed on the phone, put the phone down. She ran me back. She was like, I'm really sorry. I was like, what? She said, I've got your mortgage. <gasps> and she got us a mortgage. And oh. that house ticked every single box. And it was only when we went back to measure it that we realised that that gate opened onto open countryside. Yeah, yeah. It goes yes. off the woods. Yeah, and it ticks every single box. So, yeah, massive step of faith. But you know what? Um, it has just been the best thing we've ever done. Yeah. We are right where we're meant to be. Yeah. And there's real joy in that, isn't there? Yeah. yeah. I mean, we've had a torrid time, don't we? Yes, we had six yeah, yeah. months of basically pulling mushrooms out of the house and rebuilding walls, <laughs> got the house finished, and then I collapsed with COVID. Yeah. But we just know absolutely know we're where we're meant to be yeah. and we just love it and it is like although we're not welsh i love the people of neath i i, yeah. I love my you've neighbors. been adopted into the welsh yeah. right oh, now you are I just, welsh i love all of you <laughs> can it's i just, just pause amazing. as well you said you love your neighbors well i am your neighbor <laughs> <laughs> we live in the same street You're 18 doors now <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. No, technically yeah but it, it's just the people here are just beautiful but i feel like i've been through like a, refi a refining time because right. when you really are really really poorly but what god does in your heart through that i mean the self-emptying and, and yeah. you know, understanding grace, because yeah. like last August, I was like lying in a hammock and I didn't even have the strength to worship. Yeah. Yeah. I was so poorly. And I was like, Daddy God, this is all I've got. And just sensing his presence and his love and his affirmation. I'm not speaking. I'm not teaching. I'm not working. I'm not cooking. I'm not doing. Hmm. 
I'm just being yes. yeah. in his presence. Yeah. Yeah. It's just been the most extraordinary 18 months. And I think that's all been poured into me. And now as I'm much better, yeah. it's going to be boom. Uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> coming out. Yeah, it's certain is, isn't it? Now you said in, um, when we interviewed you in our morning show, yeah. um, we asked you a question, who is Jess? Now this, a yeah. little bit turned the world upside down. <laughs> yeah. You struggled yeah. with that a little bit, didn't you? I yeah. did, because you know what's really extraordinary is I've been so... I mean, I've actually been poorly for seven years, yeah. but the COVID just <laughs> sunk yeah. me. So I have just been, like, ill, and it's been about doing physio, it's been about taking tablets, it's, like, mm. not able to be... Mm -hmm. Yes, there emotionally, but I'm just be a mum, not be able to be a wife. And when you said, who are you? In Freedom in Christ, we teach on that, and we're like, if anyone... Like, you are a beautiful, loved child of God. Absolutely. That's great. Mm -hmm. But what makes me uniquely Jess... Yeah. I sat there and I thought, do you know what? I don't know who I am anymore, because yeah. I've been so stripped. Mm. All my hobbies have been stripped out of me, all my passions, have, apart from, you know, God, all yeah. my human have been stripped out of me. Okay. And, I, and I remember sitting on camera going, who am I? Yeah. Yeah. And, and it was... It was like, I went home and I said, Chris, I said, is this a midlife crisis, hun? <laughs> they asked me who I am. And I said, my freedom in Christ had went, I am a beautiful child. Uh, <laughs> but I actually thought, who am yeah. I? Yeah, I like gardening. I, I mean, I love gardening. Yes. I love nature. I love wildlife. Yeah. But, you know, I was like, who am I? And Chris is like, you're Jess. I'm like, no, I've got to, I've got to, I've got to work out who I am again because yeah. I've been yeah. so stripped out and so laid down. Yeah. And then... You had, had a little friend come along, <laughs> which helped you. I can't believe yeah. you discover a oh. love. <laughs> <laughs> the excitement yes. is too much. <laughs> I got you back. Love you, Katie. I got um, you back. Yeah. Um, so it was extraordinary. So Chris uh, went up to a farmyard. So yeah. before I was um, doing theology and stuff, I was actually a riding instructor. I've had horses have been a massive part of my life. Right. And it's fascinating because I used to work with problem horses. Um, so oh, wow. horses that were really messed up have been really, you know, and sort of rehabilitate them and retrain them and, and, and move them on and stuff. It was my passion was, um, you know, working with horses yeah. um, and teaching people. And then, you know, I did a bit of uh, admin for some extra cash and then right. Jesus crashed into me and, and yeah. it all went theology and ministry and theology. Yeah. But um, I had surrendered my horses about nine years ago. Um, just couldn't couldn't afford to do it. Yeah. It just wasn't, you know, dance. It just wasn't going to happen. And... Uh, and yeah, and so it was just after the, who is Jess Regnart? Yeah. Uh, Chris was up at a farmyard and they had some ponies there. And I just had the most extraordinary encounter. I went to go and stroke a coloured and I just broke. Aww. And I just, oh, I'll get all choky now. Yeah. But I just, I was just sobbing. Yeah. And, so, and, and Chris put me in the car and I was sobbing. He was like, what's the matter with you? I said, oh, I don't know. And I sat at home and I kept crying and I kept crying. And he went, you need another horse. Yeah. He said, you've not done your horses, have you? And I said, you know what? They're such a part of me. And, you know, I used to have this dream of having a riding school and call it Sermon of the Mount. You know, yeah. I just, you know, it's, but it's, such, <laughs> a, it's such a part of who, I've always had horses and there's a, such a spiritual connection to a horse. Yeah. yeah. They are spiritual beasts, you know, yeah. dogs they're and so horses. They're so majestic, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. And they're, they're given by God to carry our load. You know, they, they are, they are super spiritual and they're, yeah, I've always had them in my life. Mm. And um, Chris was like, would well, you know what? We've moved to Wales. And God's been really speaking to us about joy, like have joy, live your life. You know, I yeah. want you to have good things. Chris said, I'm not opposed to you getting another horse. You can't have one to ride because you're not strong enough yet. But, yeah. you know, if you wanted to get something young yeah. that you could work on. And then in pre-loved was this horse looking for a new home. Yeah. And um, I went and saw her and she trotted up and just was like ruffling in my hair. Uh, I was like, uh, I'll have her. She's like, you've so not looked at the team. Uh, you've not <laughs> But you know when you know. We yeah. show a photo actually of you and your horse because it'd be she is excellent for to see. Beautiful. And actually, just yeah, the joy. I can't ride her, but I can take her for little walks right. and do groundwork with her and brush yeah. her off. And it's it is like healing. It is. I yeah. can't explain. Yeah. And it's like people talk about their God shaped hole, which is absolutely a thing. For me, there was just a little bit of a horse shaped hole. Yeah. yeah. Um, and that is who I've always been. I've yeah. always been, you know, covered in horse poo, straw yeah. in my hair. Yeah. You know, nice you. Don't let the mascara fall on you. I said, Farmer <laughs> Jess, honestly. She did. But I think it's just going to grow. What, what, what God is bringing in is mm. a hobby that's got a very deep and spiritual meaning. Yeah. Oh, that will help other massively. people yeah. and it, it'll grow from there. So, can I just say, Thanks for coming on. Thank show. you. Oh, oh, I love it. I was like, it's sort of been so good. You've got to come on again. Sorry, my umbrellas. You right. guys are beautifully nuts. Yeah, we, I know. Yeah, well. I'd love to come any time. I love it. I, I love it. Great. But thank you, Jess, for the show. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so this is
is the part of the show where um, we do some crazy things. Uh, and the crazy thing that we're going to do is not what's currently happening. We're actually going to play a new game. It's called Sword Wars. And no actual swords were used in the making of this video. Enjoy. Get off then. <laughs> Welcome to Sword Wars, where your sword is the word of the Lord. I will be reading a Bible verse, and it's the first person to find it. Best of three. Faith, are you ready? I'm ready. Jess, are you ready? I'm ready. First verse. Jeremiah 1.9. I tell him, oh no, 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 no. This is on page numbers. Oh, what was it? Jeremiah 1.9. Oh no. <laughs> then the Lord reached out his hand and touched my mouth and said to me, now I have put my words in your mouth. First point to Jess. Boom! <laughs> Jess is on one point, faith zero. Second round. Your verse is, John 16:24. Okay, I know what he is. I know what he is. Wait, 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 wait. John what? 16, 624. Sorry, 624. Ah, make your mind up. <laughs> Once the crowd realised that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they got into the boat and went to Capernaum. Capernaum in search of Jesus. <laughs> Point Jess. This is not fair. Do you want to do a third round? Yes. Okay. Round three. Your first is... Ezra 8.34. I'm, I'm done for. I don't know where that is. 8.34? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just embarrassed Everything it. was accounted for by number and weight. Was it 8.34? <laughs> Jess done. wins. <laughs> I'm done. Woo! Stupid. Stupid game. I'm not playing this again. Do you want my Bible? No, I can't have it. <laughs> I'm done with it. Thanks for watching, folks. <laughs> well, it really has been a memorable evening, folks. Yeah, we've had a whirls of a time. And actually, you need to get your umbrellas out. Good. Yeah, I've done it. Because we're about to I've rain down it. some joy up in you. Because oh. <laughs> Faith has got a poem, and it's called I'm Not Being Funny. Until next time. The Happy Clappy Club is closed! Bye! <laughs> I'm not being funny, but what is actually funny? Where's the exploits of laughter the church is longing for? Where's the roaring laughter like the lion's roar? Where's the thundering laughter that frightens the enemy? Where's the kind of laughter that sets the people free? Because when the laughter dries up, we have to find things to say, filling in the silent pauses just to make them feel okay. Then the focus goes on the fasting and the prayer becomes the way because laughter has no part in moving the heart of the king. So now we have a sober and dried up old religion that sucks the life out of the church and bankrupts every Christian. See, he has come to give us life to the full and the fullness of his majesty is in the joy pool. So strip off those heavy garments you have on. Take off all the preconceived ideas. Take off the do's and don'ts, my friend, and just follow the voice of Jesus. Jump in, my dear, and swim around. The joy goes deeper still. And when you've reached the depth of joy in him, the laughter will soon kick in.